Hi and welcome to another telehealth information video. I'm Garvin and this video is on Relotech. So what is Relotech used for? It's used for extending life or the time to mechanical ventilation for people with motor neuron disease and myotropic lateral sclerosis. So how does Relotech work? Relotech tablets contain the active ingredient Riluzole. So Riluzole is also available without a brand as a, I, <coughs> excuse me, as a generic form. It is used to treat a condition called amyotropic lateral sclerosis or ALS for short. So ALS is a form of motor neuron disease that results in muscle weakness, paralysis and ultimately respiratory failure. It is as a result of degeneration of the nerve cells in the brain and spinal cord that are responsible for sending messages to the muscles. The cause of ALS is not fully understood, but it is believed that a natural body chemical called glutamate plays a role in the death of nerve cells in this disease. Glutamate is a type of chemical called a neurotransmitter. It is involved in the passing of messages between the nerve cells and is a natural nerve exciting agent. Although it's not fully understood how Rilazole works, it is thought to act by preventing the action of glutamate. This may help prevent the further damage to nerve cells. Rilazole treatment extends life for people suffering from ALS or lengthens the time before mechanical ventilation is required. So how do you take Rilotech? The usual dose is one Rilotech 50 mg tablet taken twice a day, morning and evening. The tablets should be taken 12 hours apart at the same times each day. So the tablets can be taken either with or without food. And they should be swallowed with a drink of water. So if you forget to take a dose, leave out the missed dose and take your next dose as usual when it is due. Do not take a double dose to make up for an earlier missed tablet. So important information about Rilotech. Rilotech may reduce your ability to drive or operate machinery safely. So do not drive or operate machinery until you know how this medicine affects you and you are sure it won't affect your performance. This medicine can sometimes cause a decrease in the normal amounts of white blood cells in the blood. For this reason, you should consult your doctor immediately if you experience any signs or symptoms of infection while taking it. For example, a sore throat, mouth, ulcers, high temperature or fever or general illness, as these may indicate a problem with your blood cells. Your doctor may want to take a blood test to check your blood cells that everything's okay. Rilazole may sometimes cause lung inflammation. So if you get a new or worsening cough or a shortness of breath while taking this medicine, you should tell your doctor immediately. Rilotech should be used with caution by people with a history of liver problems. And Rilotech should not be used by people with any form of motor neuron disease other than ALS. And people with liver disease also not to be used with people with inherited metabolic disorders and also women who are pregnant or breastfeeding. So this medicine is not recommended for children under 18 years of age or people with decreased kidney function. And this medicine should not be used, obviously, if you are allergic to any of its ingredients. So tell your doctor or pharmacist if you have previously experienced such an allergy. So if you have, if you feel you have experienced an allergic reaction, stop using the medicine and tell your doctor or pharmacist immediately. So regarding pregnancy and breastfeeding, as I said earlier, the safety of this medicine for use during pregnancy has not been studied. So it should not be used by women who are pregnant. And it is not known if this medicine passes into breast milk. For that reason, it should not be used by breastfeeding mothers. 
So some of the possible side effects of Rillotech. So we'll start with some of the common would be feeling sick and weak, abnormal results in liver function tests, and headache, dizziness, sleepiness, and a tingling sensation or numbness around the lips or mouth. Also increased heart rate, which is called tachycardia, and diarrhea, abdominal pain, and vomiting. So some uncommon side effects would be anemia and inflammation of the pancreas or pancreatitis, also interstitial lung disease. So allergic reactions such as anaphylaxis or swelling of the face, throat and tongue, which is called angioedema. So the side effects I've just mentioned does not include all the side effects reported by the medicines manufacturer. For more information about this and other risks associated with this medicine, you need to read the patient information leaflet that comes with the medicine or talk to your doctor or pharmacist. So if you think you have experienced a side effect from a medicine or a vaccine, you should check the patient information leaflet. This lists the known side effects and what to do if you get them. You can also get advice, as I said, from your doctor or pharmacist. If they think it's necessary, they report the side effects for you. So how can Rillotech affect other medicines? So it is important to tell your doctor or pharmacist what other medicines you're taking. So, and those including those bought without a prescription and herbal remedies before you start treatment with this medicine. Similarly, check with your doctor or pharmacist before taking any new medicine while this, taking this medicine to make sure that the combination is safe and there's no potential interaction. So the following medicines may decrease the breakdown of Rillotech by the liver and also could increase the risk of its side effects. So you should tell your doctor if you get any new or increased side effects if you're prescribed one of these while taking Rillotech. So the first is an antibiotic called ciprofloxacin, also fluvoxamine and norfloxacin. So the following could increase the breakdown of Rillotech, which could lead to lower blood levels and make Rillotech less effective. So charcoal grilled foods, tobacco smoke and rife and poison. So that brings this video to an end. If you have any questions, you can leave them in the comments below or contact us through our website, myteddyhealth.info or call into Lynch's Pharmacy, Douglas Cork. Or you can ring 021-436-6923 to find out more. Thank you for watching. Stay healthy and stay informed.